All right. This one's called the clutter theory. And I'm like, so dark. I'm like, ninja. Ninja dark. All right, anyways. So, since I'm ninja dark, and you can't even see me really. Ah, a little better. Um, <laughs> all right. Fighting off depression, 47. I don't think there's anything that's famous that's 47. Anyways. Uh, so, 47. Um, this one's called the clutter theory. Uh, I invented it the other day. Um, so anyway, so, so I have a friend that's uh, suffering from depression. Uh, can't sleep because he has racing thoughts. Wake him up in the middle of the night. He's thinking, 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 thinking. He doesn't sleep much. And since he doesn't sleep much, his life is falling apart. Because you got to get at least seven, eight hours of sleep. Because if, you know, if you're on like five hours of sleep, four and a half hours of sleep, five and a half hours of sleep, six hours of sleep, after a couple of days of doing that, you start to, you feel like your life becomes a nightmare and it's crumbling all around you. So yeah, he suffers from depression. He suffers from like constantly thinking, like racing thoughts. And the thing is, he watches a lot of movies, he watches a lot of television. Like, if he's not working, he, like, needs to be entertained by movies. He needs to be entertained by television because he likes that escapism um, uh, from life or he likes to be entertained or he needs to fill up time because he might be bored if he didn't watch movies or TV. Whatever it is. Uh... So, here's the thing, all right? So, I don't really think at all. Because I do things I'm, like, really passionate about. I have a very good diet where I don't eat processed food. Um, I do things that I love to do. Uh, I don't watch movies. I don't watch TV. Um... The only time I watch YouTube is um, to find out like new studies, psychological, spiritual, health, and fitness, to always be the best version of myself. So, and to help others as well, right? So I'm always learning and growing, always. Uh, so if I hear about something that could help myself or help others, uh, new studies, whatever it is, I just, I learn it. Um, I work, I work at it. And I think that's why a lot of people suffer and are depressed because they don't work at it. They don't have that work ethic, man. They don't have that discipline and dedication to be like, oh, I'm depressed. How do I, you know, they want like a quick fix. They want the easy. They don't want to actually go through the pain or actually feel emotion or actually put the time in to learn how to get better, how to feel better. So one of my buddies is like that, you know, and I like I give him all these like, you know, things to watch and listen to. Um, and he he does, but he still constantly watches movies and TV and YouTube videos and stuff like that. <clears throat> so when he watches these YouTube videos and movies and TV, he's constantly being entertained. His mind is being entertained. It has images coming at it. It has characters. It has uh, storylines. It has all this stuff going on. So he um, is being entertained all the time. His mind is entertained. Images, uh, things, uh, uh, people, uh, stories, uh, 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 clutter, 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 clutter. So when he stops watching the movies, when he stops watching the TV, when he stops watching the YouTube videos, his mind is like, ah, 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 where did it go? Where did it go? Where did all that stuff go? Where did the images go? Where did the people go? Where did the storylines go? Uh, 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 I need something. I need something. I need to be entertained. I need, I need something to fill the void. I need more clutter. So he starts thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking. Because he needs to come up with something else to replace the TV, 
to replace the movies, to replace the YouTube videos. Because his mind has gotten used to all of that imagery, all of those storylines, all of those people, all of those visuals. The sound, the craziness, the car explosions, whatever it is. So when he stops watching those things on the rectangle box, his mind is like, uh, okay, I'm bored. I need to be entertained. Give me something. Give me something. Feed me, feed me, feed me. So he starts to think. One of the reasons I don't think is because uh, I don't watch crap. I don't watch movies. I don't watch TV. Um, I don't watch YouTube videos. And when I do, you know, that, you know, that self-improvement stuff I was talking about, I put it all the way over there near my Harry Potter Gryffindor shirt, and I don't watch the screen. I have earbuds in, Bluetooth earbuds, and I could like be washing dishes, I could be cooking food, and I'm doing stuff while I'm listening to this stuff. So I'm not watching anything on a rectangle. It's the key. Um, However, the majority of our planet is doing this right now. They're always constantly being entertained by rectangles, whether it's movies, TVs, whatever, uh, YouTube. So Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, whatever. So when they stop watching these things, their mind is like, give me more, give me more, give me more. So they're thinking, they're thinking, they're thinking. And they can't be still, they can't be present to solve these issues. Like what, well, okay? I'm depressed. Okay, let me figure it out. What are the steps I need to do? Maybe instead of watching movies and TV, maybe I should find out how to fix these problems. Like do research on some of the leading psychiatrists or spiritual leaders like Brene Brown or, uh, 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 what's her name? The one about, um, um, emotional agility. That one's phenomenal. Um, uh, I think her name is David something, something David. Emotional agility, Brene Brown. Uh, yeah, you just type up emotional agility book summary on YouTube. Dope. Uh, Brene Brown. Um, Eckhart Tolle, that's all you really need, those three. Uh, <laughs> that's about it. And Gary Zukoff is pretty cool, The Seed of the Soul, that's pretty dope. Uh, Michael Singer, Michael Singer's pretty cool too. But he's kind of, he kind of comes across as an a-hole. Like, you know, you'll be listening to him and you're going to be like, what a freaking a-hole. His theory about like relaxing when you're feeling upset or when you're feeling depressed or when you're feeling angry, just like relax into that emotion and chill out and be like, okay, why am I feeling this? Just and like feel it, relax into it, feel it, learn from it, and then let it go and move on. Okay, you know, and that like that's like the a couple of fighting off depressions I made a couple of days ago, um, and uh, Michael Singer's into that. Um, so's the emotional agility thing. Um, you gotta come up with the uh, values about like what what you value, like w what's your mission statement, like my uh, like your why and your values. Like mine is uh, my values and my why is to be proud of everything I do, to be loving, to uh, to be present, like to be in the present moment, um, to be the best version of myself from fitness, helping out, helping others, loving people, uh, setting boundaries from unloving people. Um, so I do not get abused. Um, if somebody comes across unloving, um, you know, I draw a clear line in the sand and I'm like, no. You know, like, I, you know, I love myself too much to allow you to be around me. Um, and that way I'm more loving towards others um, because I'm not being abused. Um, 
and I'm not being upset and I'm not letting that enter my life. Um, so that's very important. Um, uh, and I'm more fulfilled and happy because I don't allow abusive people around me. Uh, to never rush, to relax into uh, my emotions and take my time to be the creator, whether it's singing, art, dancing, motion, handling basketball, and being love and having love within. All right, guys. Peace. Clutter theory. Ow.